Why should I use underlay stitching in my embroidery designs and which type of underlay do I use? If you are new to embroidery or new to creating designs for embroidery, learning the basics of what makes a good quality finished design is extremely important. One of those basics is the fundamentals of underlay. Many embroiderers do not use underlay stitching because they have no idea as to how to use it or what type of underlay to use for their particular design, stitch type, or fabric style. Instead, they use a heavy density and this can cause a multitude of problems. During this presentation, we are going to focus on the five basic functions of underlay, the four basic rules of underlay, the different types of underlay stitching, what underlay to use for different types of stitches, why underlay sews out uneven, how to increase and decrease the density of your underlay, and what is its purpose. We are going to go over examples of lettering and underlay in the software, and then I'm going to show you how to create underlay manually even if you do not have any digitizing tools. Underlay stitching is the most important and most underrated element of creating your design. Like anything else that is built, you need a good foundation and underlay is the foundation of your embroidery. I have been asked a couple of questions many times. How do I know if I have any underlay in my design? And what does it look like? Underlay stitches are the stitches that are sewn on the fabric first before the actual top stitching is sewn. Sometimes they will follow the same line as your embroidery and sometimes they will look very strange to you if you are new to embroidery and are not familiar with underlay. It depends on what type of underlay you have chosen, but we will talk about that a little bit later. Underlay has many basic functions. It attaches the garment to the backing, creating a stable surface and smooth platform for the top stitching. It helps to reduce the amount of give in the fabric. It hides the color of the fabric that will be covered with stitching. It helps to reduce the density of the top stitching. It stops the fabric from puckering. And it keeps the stitches from sinking into the fabric. What are the different types of underlay? There are five basic types of underlay stitches. These can be applied by hand if you are digitizing your own design or they can be applied automatically if you have this capability within your software. Sometimes you cannot get the same effect using the auto functions in the software. So you need to know how to apply the different types by hand so that you will get the exact effect that you are looking for. The basic types are as follows. You have contour and edge walk. 